So you want to play some pirated games, but you're afraid of downloading a virus or getting locked up like Gary Bowser. Thankfully, AliExpress is here for you. Look at all this uh, garbage. Some of it's eye-catching. A hundred thousand games? Plug and play. HD big screen game console? Wait, what's that Kin Hank? Super Console XG1, a thousand dollars. Dual systems in one. Battle Sarah 33, professional office entertainment. What are you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. As soon as I saw this thing, I had to buy it. Or rather, Jake told me I had to buy it so we could see if it actually comes with over 120,000 games. If it does, I assume they've got to be retro games since you won't be playing modern AAA titles with a laptop chip from four years ago and eight gigs of RAM. Or can you? It has an NVIDIA GPU. What else is there for us to discover here? Oh, 4K output, you say? Real and shocking picture effect. Wow, I can't wait for a shocking picture effect. This just looks like a very basic mini computer. For a thousand bucks, they better really wow me with the software. It includes a big fat power brick, does about 150 watts, so it's about what you'd get with a mid-tier gaming laptop. We've got the box itself, a power adapter and an HDMI cable. That's it? There's controllers. Oh, right, the controllers. Oh, the Beitong Bat 2 wi wired. I've heard of this. Have you actually? No, of course not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Got a nice long cable. Oh wow, that's actually not very long. <laughs> how, many, how, how many of you are this far from your couch? <laughs> oh gosh, it doesn't even have analog triggers. But hey, thank goodness there's a turbo button. Okay, so it comes with a PS2 grade controller in the box. Hey, PS2 controllers are better than that. Did they have analog triggers? They had analog face buttons. Okay, so it comes with a PS1 grade controller. <laughs> the plastics seem all right and one of them is white. Ploof, it doesn't look like you tested the controllers. You're just leaving me to figure out how great they are on my own? In this, in this case, yes. <laughs> Not very. I mean, this one's cute looking at least. Batasera 33 plus Win 11 Pro. Really, Windows 11 Pro. Oh, how much you wanna bet that's pirated? Well, I'm trying to get this open. We can talk about specs. It's got an adopt i9-9880H 8-core processor. I don't know what adopt means in this context. Maybe recertified? Either way, supposedly it's an Intel chip. A 1650 independent graphics card. 8 gigs DDR4 with dual RAM slots, which sounds like it's single channel out of the box. Hello, how does this... Where are the seams in you? I am extremely confused. <laughs> we found something you can't open. Maybe this is a good time to tell you about our sponsor. XSplit. Looking to take your video streaming to the next level? XSplit is a software company that provides simple yet effective broadcasting and video production tools. Check them out at the link below and use code LINUS for a very nice 69% off your first purchase or subscription. Okay, I got under it. There are clips. Wow, that's a pretty good looking cooling system. Please tell me this thing's not running off of a mechanical hard drive though. Oh no, it has a boot SSD. This is one of those weird products guys where it would make sense to me if they were just using main boards that were destined for laptops, but then, you know, the order was canceled or something like that. But to actually engineer this board just for this product, how many of these could they possibly be selling? If it was cheap, sure, but it's a thousand dollars for a 1650 and an eight core chip. And this SSD is very basic. Wow, it's a good guy. Not to be confused with a bad guy. I mean, I always like it when the good guy is on my side. Ooh, high-speed SSD. I mean, high is relative. Whoa, 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 whoa. They say this is PCIe Gen 4? Oh, man. Well, we caught them in their first outright lie on the spec sheet. This is supposedly a PCIe by 4 SSD. It is not that. It is, in fact, a SATA SSD. You can tell from the keying here. Not that being PCIe would make this any faster, really. These are apparently available for as little as $9.80 in quantities of 1,000. We've also got our memory stick here. <laughs> Oh, the puns are real. From the markings, these appear to be Samsung chips, but I'm not sure if I believe that because the brand is Whodisk. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Guga and Whodisk. The antennas are both hooked up. So, you know, that's good. Power button daughter board. Seems to be about what you'd expect. The IO is not terrible by modern standards. Gigabit LAN, quad USB 3s, two USB 2s, DisplayPort, HDMI, and USB Type-C. 
This has got to be just an existing mini PC that they zhuzhed up with this aluminum plate and then filled with pirated games. Like, wait, okay, we've already found some conflicting information. Depending where you look, it's over 110,000 or over 120,000. Okay, the host is more powerful and the loading speed is very fast. Let happiness come faster. So that's what I'm always telling my wife. <laughs> oh, wow. The marketing for this is extremely bombastic. And I'm not using that word lightly. The performance of the GTX 1650 is more outstanding. More outstanding than what? And it can easily cope with large scale games such as League of Legends, PUBG, and PlayStation 2. Yes, when I think of large scale games, I really think of PS2. Dual channel memory operation, more smooth. But we didn't bother actually giving you any of that. <laughs> oh my God, now it's 71,000 plus games. The farther I scroll down the page, the fewer games are included. You know what I gotta wonder? Is this stuff just way cheaper in China? Because the thing is, in China, you can get great deals, like better than we can get here on some hardware, like used mining cards, for example. So you can look at a product like this and go, oh, Linus, you don't understand because it's for the Chinese market. And I'm like, right, it has to be more competitive. What makes a worse product good for the Chinese market? I don't, let's just, let's fire it up. Wait, where are you going? You're not gonna help set this up? No, 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 no. You said you'd set it up. No, come, come on. What? <laughs> the cable length is not yeah. a plus here. <laughs> and the rear IO? Just flip it in reverse. That eats up a solid foot of your definitely not seven feet. Oh just... my God. <laughs> now we get the pretty side facing us. Oh, okay. You just reach around to press the power button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm turning it on. Yeah, turn it on. Oh. We've got to set it to the original boot in BIOS because it originally did boot oh. into uh, Batacera 33. Oh, okay. Well, let's and do it's that. like an arcade launcher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. So we need a keyboard and mouse. But another thing to note while we're in Windows is look, it's uh, it's got a little power because you know it's connected to a power. So it's like it's on battery. <laughs> oh my goodness. But then it's like exed out. It thinks it's a laptop. <laughs> yeah. It thinks it's with a, a missing battery. <laughs> and it's just plugged into the wall. This isn't Windows 11. Oh yeah. It lists Windows 11 Pro. Yeah. This is clearly Windows 10. Yeah. What the heck? So there, yeah, check specs. What else is in here? And also, what the heck's a... No wonder I stumbled over the name of the CPU so many times. I998... I998... I didn't register why I kept saying it wrong. There is no 9880HK. Oh, it's a 9980HK, yeah. Dang it! Now mash F2, F8, F10, and delete. What? How because we don't know which one is oh the God. right BIOS key. Okay. Hey! hey! Uh, it dual boots by default. Windows is installed, but so is Batacera. Now, normally it originally boots straight into Batacera, and, yeah. and he altered this when setting it up. But yeah, if you <laughs> if you boot into our hard drive, there we go. Yeah. Wait. Oh, interesting. So that's the other problem is we installed some games on Windows. Yeah. But there was not much space, so there's only a few games installed. Right. And the boot manager is on the hard drive. <laughs> interesting. Seems like they have a lot of confidence in their SSD. Kin Hank. Kin Hank, games retro. All right, hey, well, let's get this keyboard out of here. This is a you console. Don't need that, yeah. Neo Geo, Sony PlayStation, Quake, Quake 2, 2, Wii U. I mean, if they've got, you know, 100,000 games. Hey! 122,647. Sinclair. Wow. ZX81. Wow, a god. Okay, it uses Japanese oh, layout this for navigation. Is, okay, perfect. So circle is uh, accept and yeah. X is bad, okay. Cool. So I accidentally launched this game. Yeah, this is real great. I'm having fun. Look, can you <laughs> not be a Debbie Downer? <laughs> I don't think we're doing anything. I spent good money on this <laughs> gaming console and on your companionship today. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not getting a great value at either of them. <laughs> I think we should play a game we're familiar with. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know how to play it. This is like, I've played some really old PC games. This is even beyond my time. <laughs> but can you even figure out how to get out I of can't. the game? Uh, oh, oh, whoa, oh, okay. There's a menu. Yeah. There's Great, this menu. is just RetroArch. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's just a Linux distro. Ooh, 3D, 3D. <laughs> pick, pick a game that you've actually played. All right, I will pick a game I have actually okay. played. Okay. 
Here we go. NHL 94. Let's go. Look at how many pixels that guy's face is made out of. <laughs> Oh, it's Gretzky! <laughs> Let's go, Great One! <laughs> Hold on a second. I think I can make him watch the instant replay. Oh no. my God. This is like Rocket League where one guy doesn't skip the replay. Yeah. Except you're going back and then making me watch the replay. Yeah. It's even worse. It's even worse. And he can't stop Incredible. me. <laughs> Incredible, what a game. <laughs> you know what? The D-pad's pretty usable. It's not great. It's not great, but it's usable. It's definitely usable. In their marketing, do they say that you'll spend so much time playing with it because you can't figure out how to turn it off? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe join a dip. Oh, oh, what'd you press? Uh, back and start at the same time. Uh, what? I tried that. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm player one. Okay, they got Sinclair, all games, favorites, 3DO, Amiga, Atari. I don't think we're gonna get through all Atari, these. We're at A, Atari, we're at A. Oh, gee, holy crap, you're right. We're still at C. Capcom. I'm oh, trying to- wait, can I check the Commodore? Oh yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, wow, are there ever a lot of games for the Commodore? 122,000 games all at your disposal. So you're gonna get a lot of just complete garbage holy in this entire list. Crap. Yeah, you're not even, You just hit D and you've been holding scroll for like a good 30 seconds or something. This was such a bad time for games. My Marvel childhood. Oh my God. I like how they've actually done the like sidebars for the three by four. Original game supported only two players. Nostalgia gives you four player version. <laughs> you need to buy more friends. Crapped, cracked from disc by Sir Stitch. <laughs> I don't remember how it works really. Seems fine. I don't think I'm doing anything, but that's okay. I didn't really want to play Marble Madness. Anyway. No, no, you, you try. See if your joystick does anything. Oh, it does. Hey, what? Go. So we can mess with each other? I mean, that's kind of cool. This must have been incredibly frustrating playing with younger or older siblings. Okay, this is riveting, but we should probably play more games. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're not having fun? I mean, I am having fun, but we should see how how much uh, how much software. The Are King you not Hank, entertained? The Super XG1 comes with. Okay. Honestly, it's not a bad selection though. We've got like every Game Boy iteration, color, advance, regular Game Boy. It's interesting to me that for Super Nintendo, for example, they don't just have the entire collection. It's not like the ROMs take up a ton of space no. and it's not like they're licensing it legitimately. So there's no cost to it. I guess it was just easier to look. Wait, we get a total of one Xbox game? I was gonna say, this is really weird. They've only, okay, to be fair, They've got one of the best Xbox games. They've got Jet Set Radio Future. But uh, yeah, I don't know <laughs> why it's the only Xbox game. Well, probably because they want to advertise a huge library. Uh, yeah. And Xbox, Xbox games actually take up space. That's true. Oh yeah, this is great. Wow, that fan is going, boys. The labs tested it briefly for thermals and stuff, and it only maxes out on the GPU around uh, 73 degrees on the hotspot, okay. more like 67, well, 65 really average, good. but you can hear why. <laughs> Fans just crank right up. Okay, battle mode. Yeah, sure. we're not practicing, that's lame. Um, okay, what do you wanna play? Graffiti Wars. It's got wars in the name. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gum, beat, yo-yo. I'm yo-yo. And Wait, corn. No, I wanna be corn. This is a classic. Okay, I have never played this game, so I, I have mean, absolutely no idea what's going it's on. It's roller skating and graffiti. That's all you gotta know. I wanna fight. How do we fight? I mean, we're trying, but it's not working very well because I haven't played Jet Set yet. Ow! Okay. What's your problem? <laughs> Let's try a different game. Okay, the ethics of giving money to pirates aside, if you are the kind of person who is not technical at all, you're my in-laws. The kids come over to your house and you've got something fun for them to do and a lot of games to choose from. They're not gonna say we got nothing to play. Um, Dreamcast. Oh, it'd be cool if they had Power Stone on here. Power Stone 1 and 2, nice. Okay, so we'll play Power Stone? Sure. So the funny thing about Batocera is it literally lists on its Linux distro. We do not endorse pirating. You have to own these games and blah, 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 get your own ROMs. And they're clearly not affiliated with the Batocera team at all. Oh, whoa, this is like 3D. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like really crazy for the time because Virtua Fighter uh, was out. On? But Virtua you Fighter look, looked looked like, like ass. Stone, yeah. What the? How do I pick up the guns though? Yes. What just happened? Boom, I shot you with a bazooka. What is even happening bazooka right now? Time. It's basically Smash Bros. Pretty much, yeah. How do I pick up a sword? I don't even know how to- You hit the pick up button. Well, I don't know where the pick up button is. <laughs> I can't tell what any of the buttons do. <laughs> Power Stone. 
This was crazy good. I when haven't it came even out. touched him. I know this was this was like wild when it came out. Everyone loved Power Stone, and for good reason. Yeah, you're just flying around so much. <laughs> nice, nice. Did last beat you? Yeah. <laughs> Secretly, I've played a lot of Power Stone. Are you but... sure? Okay, tell you what. Let's pick a game you think you can win. Oh my god. Oh, Tekken, sure. Oh no. Another fighting game? Yeah. Oh, what? It didn't even load what Tekken. It just happened. Oh, is this when uh, is this when Konami had um, a, uh, loading, screen, loading games. screen games? Yeah, they patented the loading screen games so no one else could do it. Destroyed an entire multiple <sighs> eras of gaming. Huarang is really cheap because you just do a bunch of kicks all the time. <laughs> That's what he does. So you're gonna just be like that, hey? <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm just gonna kick you. Nina might win. Like, they're all good. Tekken was, I don't know, reasonably balanced. I don't know what block is. I don't know. I think it's just back away. This also, is not this looks very terrible. Well. Yeah, this looks so bad. Low kick, low kick, low kick, low kick, low kick till you lose. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> don't, you, don't use the cheap low kick strategy against me. Oh, that's it! The cake! Oh, I was in! I figured out the stance! Okay, how do I get back into the stance? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Too bad I knocked you out by yeah, hitting you in the knee. I know. <laughs> you know what's really funny is this is a lot like playing games with Luke. Why? Because the first time we play something, I will almost always win. Right, and then... And then once he has about five, ten minutes to pick it up, he will annihilate yeah. me for the rest of the session. Yeah. In conclusion, for the price, it's woefully under spec and all the software that is adding value to it is pirated and available for free if you're willing to pirate it, which you are because you bought one of these. With that said, I think that it's worth following up this video with a look at some more AliExpress consoles that come preloaded with things because at a more reasonable price, while I would never recommend them or condone them, I could see how they might be attractive to some people. Yeah, 100 bucks or 200 bucks might be a lot more reasonable, especially when you're getting 100,000 games with those ones too. And getting this message from our sponsor. Motion Gray, do you experience back pain from prolonged sitting and staring at a screen all day? Well, Motion Gray aims to provide ergonomic workplace solutions at affordable prices. Their sit-to-stand desks come in a wide variety of models and sizes. Simple to assemble and with a bunch of available accessories, you're sure to be able to pick out one to suit your needs. They also have a range of ergonomic chairs available, with each one focusing on adjustability, affordability, and providing maximum comfort. Check Motion Gray at the link below and use code LINUS for 10% off your purchase. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the one where we showed the proper way to rip games off of your old cartridges and play them in an emulator.